What's going on everybody? Just James Fitness here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to cover an amazing topic and it is how to grow your calves and the secret to calf gains. Now there is no one secret, but if you follow these few tips, it's all going to add up and you will see some calf gains. So let's jump right into this thing. The first thing I'm going to tell you is to hit your calves as much as humanly possible. If you can do them every day, do them every day. It's something called a feeder program where at least you get a pump every single day in your muscle and that's going to bring in fresh blood to recover faster and overall make more gains in that muscle than anything else. You see a lot of people do that with their arms, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to try it out, I'm going to do it with my calves and I've been seeing some great results. One of the main exercises that I've been doing every single day is this leg press calf raise. Now, as you see, I'm kind of pulling on the weight and pushing it back up when I can't do any more reps myself, and that's just to force progressive overload. As you pull the weight down, you're getting as much weight possible with a lot of resistance, which gives you a really good stretch in your calf, which is very important to calf growth, and then you're gonna push it up when you can no longer press it yourself, giving yourself a few more forced reps. That's really gonna help overload your muscle and really stimulate it, so that's what I recommend the most, of just getting some forced reps in after you do your slow and controlled reps. Don't do it first, do it after. The leg press calf press is really great for the like gastrocnemius as shown on the screen. That is the uppermost part of your calf and that's gonna add a lot of definition in what people see. So definitely don't forget to work that. That's gonna work most when your legs are straightened and you are standing up. Let's go into the next calf exercise. That's gonna be your seated calf raise. And this one I did for a really long time. I only did this one for a while and I didn't see that much progress. So don't just focus on this one, but definitely add it into your arsenal. What you wanna do is really go slow on the way down as I'm doing. Press on your knees, really, really emphasizing that stretch because your body is never in that position and that's gonna shock the muscle. So then when you press all the way up, squeeze for a second, slow on the way down, stretch and repeat. And that's really gonna help you get a really good contraction and burn on the muscle, make sure that you are really contracting your muscles, that way you know that you're working the right muscle. I really like doing these. These have always been great. I always get sore the next day from these, so they're definitely working. This works the soleus of your muscle, which I'm showing on the screen right now. That is the lower and underneath portion of your calf. Now this is a bigger muscle than your gastrocnemius most likely, and it's hard to understand that because you can't see it, but by building this, you're gonna push out your gastrocnemius, making your calf look a lot bigger. Don't forget to work your soleus because it is very important to building that calf calf overall. I like to stick around four or five sets of 15 reps. If I can get 20 reps with it, I'm going to do it. But once in a while, I'll throw in a heavy day and do about six reps. That's what's been working for me. So next up, we're going to do some body weight calf exercises. We're going to do a single leg calf raise, uh, one leg at a time. That way, I make sure we're nice and symmetrical. And as you see, I'm going up as high as I can, but by now, my calves are dead. So I'm really just making sure I get a good stretch and going up as high as possible. I'm contracting the muscle really hard. I like to leave my leg slightly bent. That way, I do get a better contraction. Action. If your leg is completely straight, it might put all the pressure on your Achilles tendon and your knee. So you don't want to do that. You want to have a slight bend, but nothing too much. Really focus on squeezing and stretching and going slowly. That way you are shocking the muscle really good. So next up, we got both leg bodyweight calf raises. This one, you're just going to simply burn out. Do as many reps as possible. That way you're just getting all the lactic acid and the pump into your muscle. Contract really hard. Go slow. This one, I'm focusing more on the contraction than the stretch, but make sure you get a good stretch. Now, with the calf, when you're walking all day, it's going to be used in only a certain range of motion, so you want to make sure you break outside of that range of motion to build the calf effectively. So pointing really tall on your toes and stretching a lot is going to emphasize the calf growth and it's really going to take your calves outside of what they're used to. That's the reason that people struggle so much on building their calves is because they don't do a big range of motion. They will grow if you do these tips. Hope you guys learned something from this. Make sure you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Just James Fitness signing off.